Hi, people. Well, I just wanted to give you another update on Tina and the kids. And I've named the kids. I call one Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez, and the other one I call Pokey. And it, the names are self explanatory. Anyway, this is about what they looked like the last time y'all saw them. And then they started getting those little uh, feathery bodies to them. Look like little tiny ostriches or something. And, um, oh, I did want to tell you something. When I went to Chicago a couple of months ago and I took that um, traveling art journal up there to leave, well, I didn't get a chance to take pictures of the art that I did in the book before I left it because my camera broke down. I don't know. Some of you may remember that. But anyway, the guy that found it was a professor from one of the colleges up there, and he emailed me and uh, showed me what his daughter had uh, done a little art in there. And anyway, he was kind enough to send me some photographs of the artwork that I had done in there. And would you believe that there was a collage I did and there was a hummingbird in the collage so if you ever hear about that stuff about the visual visualization boards that people you know when you want the universe to give you something you know what I'm saying well uh, I totally believe in that and, and it wasn't like I was even asking for a hummingbird but um uh, and, and in fact, I had even forgotten that I had put the hummingbird in the book, you know. But a couple of weeks later, there she was building her nest right outside my window. So I, I really do think that the universe wants us all to be happy. And so I'm very careful with what kind of art that I do. Like I have a lot of dark images in my, in my head from uh, my dreams. Some of my dreams are very, very dark. And uh, I thought, maybe I should paint these dreams and get, get this out, you know. But no, I'm, I'm afraid they might come true. And that's why I try to keep my art, um, you know, light and airy and colorful and beautiful and sweet and nice and pretty. <laughs> you know, I'm afraid that the bad stuff would come true if I painted it. But anyway, back to the birds, okay? This is why we're here. Um, look how chubby. Now, that's, that's, uh, well, I guess that's Speedy flapping the wings now, okay? And, well, because he was the first one to leave the nest, of course, that's why he was called Speedy. And, uh, they're so, they're getting a little chubby now, and the, and the nest is not really big enough for the, bo for the two of them any longer, right? And, uh, oh, oh, goodness, right after I told you I didn't know how Tina it inside the nest with those two when 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 I first found them feeding oh look look this sword fight thing they they're doing with their beaks I don't know if that's a, a love gesture or if it's territorial or they're just playing or what but all I know is the next day pokey was the only one left in the nest well anyway what I was saying was that they were they had gotten so big that Tina wasn't sleeping in the nest anymore and uh but she was staying nearby on a branch, and I tried to uh, videotape that, but it was dark, and even though it says I have that night vision on my camera, I don't know, it just didn't turn out very well. It still looked blurry. So now here is Speedy, and he's, this is his first day uh, flying, of flying, and um, it got comical at times because the wind, we've, we've been having this really wonderful breeze for the past four or five days and it's just been really nice and uh, when the bre ble breeze blows those <laughs> branches that's a little tongue twister there when the breeze blows those branches well anyway as you see he was kind of wobbly and stuff and it just cracked me up to watch him there's Tina giving him an insect in mid flight which I found to be you know absolutely awesome now, this, that little bird, Tina, she has lost a lot of weight because, I mean, she has just done nothing but zoom, 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 hover, zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, okay. Now, here is what I'm showing you here is how close he stays to the nest. You see he's over at the left at the bottom and she's up uh, on the right at the top. 
and that's about two feet away from from the nest. Now he's 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 always staying nearby the nest, but I've never seen him go back to the nest. He's never gone back to sit in there or be near closer to the sister or anything. And uh, I say he's a boy because also when he's uh, he's very colorful, very colorful in the sun. He's he's much more colorful than Tina is even so. And you know they say boys are more colorful. So he landed over here on this wire that's I don't know electric wire or cable wire or something. And did you see the little uh, pokey? She just stuck her neck up as high as she could trying to see where he was. And here she is again giving it her all with the wing thing. She really wants to get going. Just adorable. I mean, just adorable. I have loved this whole process. And uh, I'm afraid I'm going to be suffering from the empty nest syndrome. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, because they have really taken up a lot of my time, too, with the filming and all. And there's Tina coming back to feed little Pokey little Tina she is a hard working mama she's a hard working mama did you see her she caught a an insect in midair there and comes right back to give that to her this is just like Dolly Goddess's National Geographic over here I'm not kidding man I have feral cats in the woods behind my house and the hummingbirds in the front and I don't know. It's just like all the creatures in the world just want to be near me. <laughs> I told you my friend Patty's calling me Dr. Doolittle now. Oh, so there she is. This is the morning I took my uh, niece and nephew to the zoo. And before I left, she was on the perching on the edge of the nest. And I was like, you better be in that nest when I get back home. Well, of course she wasn't. She was gone by the time I got home from the zoo, and I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to get her first flight uh, on tape, but, um, or video. See, I say tape. I'm from the old school. Oh, oh, but you have to know that they, they're all out of the nest now, but they're all still hanging around the house. <laughs> See, I told you that they came. Well, Tina would do this she would come in front of the window and hover there and like she was talking to me all the time right well the other day it was happening constantly there that is that is speedy okay so now they're all three hovering in front of the window so it's just it's <laughs> it's like Grand Central Station with hummingbirds around here it's awesome <laughs> and they all come to the feeder you'll see each and every one of them come up to the feeder it's just crazy. Um, I love it, though. I've had so much fun, and I hope they come back next year. I, I read online somewhere where that they usually come back to the same place they were born, and I would just be thrilled to have them again as guests next year. I hope they, I hope they do come back. Well, if I get any special uh, videos of these birds between now and the time that they leave for the south, to go south um, for the winter. I'll post it up. Bye, people. Enjoy the rest of the summer.